Hi everybody and welcome to our Facebook Live. I'm Reva with Quality Sewing and Vacuum and today we're going to talk about stocking stuffers. Are you guys ready for the holidays? That's one thing that I always leave to the very end is the stocking stuffers. And you know, if you're the one who usually is stuffing the stockings, a lot of times you don't get in your stocking really as much as everybody else gets, <laughs> or maybe you don't get what you want. So as we go through these things, feel free to stuff your own stocking <laughs> if you want to, or pass on the information to someone who should be stuffing your stocking, right? So we're gonna go through some really fun things that are just, they're the kind of things that you're gonna love having in your sewing room, or if you have a sewing friend, it's gonna be great gifts for them. So uh, before we do that, I want to share a couple of things with you. Um, I don't know if you guys have traditions in your home about stockings, or maybe you just get a generic stocking, but we have a couple here that are a little bit more uh, special. So I want to share with you um, Carrie's stocking. Now Carrie, wave Carrie. You can't see her. She's <laughs> behind the camera. So this is Carrie's Christmas stocking, and her mother made this and has made the entire family um, the the beautiful beaded and um stuff they're dimensional isn't that cool just absolutely a beautiful job so this is a family tradition for their family that everyone has a stocking like this and then um this stocking is full hold on this stocking happens to be my stocking oh and i'm missing just some trim that's on the back side but man mine is old so it's kind of had um some good days and i still love it but my this is from my aunt and my brother and i both have a stocking like this it's all hand beaded it was made by a lady in my my aunt's church and it's hand everything is hand beaded my brothers had jingle bells on the end so i always knew when santa came because i could hear the jingle bells on his stocking which is fun but i've made my husband and my son and my daughter and my son-in-law all have the velvet stockings um, with uh, the sequins. I don't hand sequin. I buy the pre-done sequin patches and add some hooped embroidery in on mine because that's what my skill is, right, is, uh, is that. So then, if, you know, no matter what your tradition is, I hope that you um, get to enjoy building traditions for the people in your family because as you grow older these things become even more precious so it's fun and if you're not a hand worker like i mean goodness gracious right remember you can do your your embroidery machine makes beautiful things and and just because in our grandparents day handwork was the the way to do things and that's where you found the heirlooms was handwork the the heirlooms of today our, our machine embroidery, our things like that. So don't discount those because those are actually the, that's what will be special to the people in our families and the ones we love in the future. So um, don't discount your abilities. So, okay, so let's get started and find out what's in these stockings. So we got some small things, we got some big things, and we're just gonna go through them and I'll just randomly pull them out and we'll see what we got. So Carrie is getting, <laughs> This is called a fabric folding pen. And this is awesome to have in your to-go sewing bag or right by your sewing machine. Because you fill this brush style, it's like a, it's not really a brush, it's more like a felt tip marker, but it's empty in here. You put a couple of drops of the magic juice, only a few, don't put the whole bottle in. Ask me how I know that's not the right thing to do, but put a couple of drops in there and then you put water in it. And when you stitch a seam, you can just use them marker end to draw on the seam line and the fabric naturally relaxes and opens up just as if it had been pressed with an iron. So this is awesome for doing the little projects where you don't want to get up and run to your iron all the time. And like I said, great if you're going to a class or you're going to a sewing retreat. Um, someone's asking, what is the magic juice? I don't know. It's magic juice. <laughs> it's called Liquido de Paro El I Don't Speak Spanish. I think English is on the other side, but it's just whatever the, the, I call it magic juice because it works like magic, right? It has, um, I don't know, it's stuff. <laughs> it's not, don't drink it, but it's whatever it does, it makes the fabric relax. So pretty fabulous. You'll love it. It's just magic. 
Um, Kai's are my very favorite scissors in the whole wide world. And these are um, little uh, little scissors that have the, the bent handle and then the tip comes up. So they're perfect for getting into an embroidery hoop or just when you're trimming threads, instead of taking a flat pair, these can get down to the surface. So if you're just trimming, even just trimming off of a seam or you're quilting and you just need to trim a thread, these are perfect. Um, and this, this particular pair is a blunt tip. So if you're just trimming a fabric, a thread edge or, you know, thread off of an edge of a fabric or something like that with a blunt edge, edge it doesn't pierce the fabric so it won't get stuck in the fabric. If you've ever gone and tried to trim something and your, your tip gets hung up on something, you won't have that challenge because this is a blunt tip. It's rounded. I keep a pair of these right on top of my sewing machine so I always have a small pair of scissors ready to do some trimming. So those are awesome scissors. So Reva, if people are interested in these awesome stocking stuffers, where can they find them? See, this is why I need Carrie because she tells me all the things I forget to say. <laughs> So if you go to our website, which is qualitysewing.com, you're going to see um, a banner that has pictures and whatnot. And that banner will circulate, but the very first one that should come up says Reva's stocking stuffer ideas or some, you know, whatever it says. You just click on that. It'll take you to a listing of all the products we're going to talk about today. And they're at a great deal, so they're discounted. So that's fabulous. You're going to want to uh, take a look at that. Then also, as we go, uh, it's noisy in here today, so sorry if you're hearing all the background noise, but as we go along today, we're gonna have some door prizes, and so you wanna be looking for that. And to get in the door prize drawing, all you need to do is like, comment, and share this video, and then on Monday, we're gonna draw the winners for the prizes, okay? All right, so let's go see what else is next. Oh, I love this. This is one of my favorite things. Ooh doesn't want to come out. Do you get socks in your in your stocking? I always buy socks for my kids. Of course, the stockings are very large in our family. Okay, this is the uh, fabric glue stick. It's from Quilter Select. I absolutely love this glue stick. It has, um, it comes with a refill and then you can also get packages of just the refills. But the nice thing about this is that the surface of the glue is not huge. It's kind of like the size of a pencil eraser. And so you can get a you can get the glue placed exactly where you want it to go. The glue is also bright yellow in color. So you can see it on dark colors, you can see it on light colors. So it's very, very visible. When it dries, that color goes away. So it's only that color while it's wet and it dries very, very quickly. So it's not gonna gum up your needle. So I know it's from Quilter Select, but you can use this if you're hemming something and you just need to tack up the hem so it stays exactly in place, you can do that. If you're installing a zipper, put it on the zipper. You don't have to pin the zipper then. That way the zipper tape stays nice and flat. So I think they're tearing the whole building down. So we'll see how that goes. Um, anyway, so it's absolutely fabulous. I think you're gonna love it. I have one by my sewing machine. I also have one in my sewing to go bag. So that way I always have one handy. And that's the Quilter Select glue stick. Okay, the next thing, oh, look at that. It's the Quilter Select Self Erase Marker and it's a two in one marker. So the purple end is the air erasable end. So you can use this if you're marking for um, a button placement or if you're wanting to mark placement for embroidery, the purple end is air erasable. So you're gonna be able to, um, to put mark with that. Now, if you hold it upright and lightly, you're gonna get a really thin line, but if you angle it a little bit and push a little bit more, you can actually get a fatter line, which is really cool. Now the, this end here that has the white cap, that's an eraser. So if you make a mark you don't like, you can use the eraser and just have it go away. So this is really awesome. And if you've had uh, marking tools in your drawer for a while, like pens, they dry out. So treat yourself to a nice new one every once in a while. <coughs> Excuse me, okay. So, and I hope Carrie will interrupt me every once in a while with questions. 
Um, so we'll do that. This is awesome. This is a bundle, a little box. It's really cute. Of Aurafil thread. So Aurafil thread, this is the cotton 50 weight thread, and it is well known for its desirability in quilting. Now, um, as you come in a little closer, oh, it's sealed, so I'm not going to open it. But these are the big spools, not little tiny spools. These are big ones, and it's white, gray, and black. So this is a perfect color combination for any, um, neutrals are always great for quilting, right? The white, the gray, the black, also ecru and cream. Those are great colors to have in your quilting, um, set aside for quilting. 50 weight is a lighter weight thread, which is ideal for piecing and cotton is just a beautiful uh, product to work with. So you're gonna love that. If you haven't tried uh, piecing with Aurafil thread, give it a shot. It, I think you're gonna really like it. Okay, now this is a favorite. This is the Clover Wonder Clips in the jumbo size. So they're about yay big, and they really can um, hold fluffy layers, lots of layers. So if you're doing your batting, you have batting and backing in, or if you're doing a crafty project that you're working with denim or multiple layers of something, a chenille, anything like that, these can hold larger amounts and they can take a bigger bite because they're little... Their little mouths are longer than the little tiny clips. So those are awesome and great stocking stuffer. Those are fun. What's in here? Glass head pins, always a good thing to have on hand. Um, I don't know about you, but I prefer to only have glass head pins in my sewing room because that way if I go to iron on it, they won't melt into the fabric. Have you ever flattened a plastic one? I mean, seriously, they get really flat. Anyhow, uh, but the, the glass head pins are very nice. And these ones are 40.5 millimeters. So they're about just under an inch, about three, three quarters of an inch long is my guess. My rough estimate on, um, on uh, metric. And those are from Eversong. And then, oh, this feels really fun. What is this? Oh, love these. This is the five inch snippies. And this is the Tula Pink limited edition style. They have the, um, it's called oil slick finish on them. So they have that rainbow look. Um, but they're, you pinch them and they will, they will um, squeeze the little tip. And they're really great for getting little threads off. Because uh, you don't have to put your fingers into finger holes. You just pinch them and they will snip. So these are fabulous on there. I think we should do a door prize. What do you think, Carrie? All right, she's thumbs upping. So that's, that was a yay. Okay, so let's start with, we're going to start with these. These are the Mundle uh, scissors. These are the Comfort Grips. And they are a nine and a half inch uh, sewing shear. And these are lovely. So to get in the drawings, you just have to like, comment, and share, and then you'll be automatically put in the drawing, and the winners are all random, and we will draw on Monday for this fun prize. So there's one there, and let's see what else we've got. Carrie, any questions? Nope. So did you said that all the noise is the elves working hard for Christmas. That's what it is. It's the elves. They're, they're really large. <laughs> they're moving metal shelves. Yes. That's a, that's a good point. So thank you for that idea. Okay, so this is the embroidery perfection tape. I call it pink tape. I don't know what you guys call it. But what this is, is it's designed to help you hold fabrics. Um, if you're doing applique to lay your fabric down, you can tape your fabric into place. Or if you're putting fabrics on the back side, you can tape it into place. It is a... Uh, it is safe for your fabric, so it's archival. It's not going to damage the fabrics. And it has a texture somewhat feels a little bit like masking tape, but unlike masking tape, it's fabric safe and it has a better grip so it won't just unloosen and roll right off. It actually holds very, very tight. So this stuff is awesome. Again, uh, something you want to have next to your sewing machine and you also want to have one in your going to class bag because it has... Uh, 
it has so many different uh, purposes and functions. It's great if you have a ribbon or a trim that you need to cut and you don't want to have the edges ravel, you can wrap it with that. You also can use it if you're doing anything with puffy foam to hold that down or just tons of uses. So I think you're going to like that. And Carrie, someone else needs to stuff your, your stocking now. So you're, you're empty. Okay, now this is... A newer stocking these these things are for my puppy my puppy Roka and she'll hopefully she'll give me all the presents because inside because she doesn't have thumbs so she can't use them so it's it's only only good for me right so in here we have some good things and by the way this project is one of the projects in the warm winter wishes uh, uh, box kit that we'll talk about in a little bit so this is one of the projects so these are fun Again, Kai scissors, my absolute favorite. These are pinking shears. Now, I don't know if you've ever used pinking shears or maybe you have an old pair of pinking shears, but pinking shears have a zigzag blade. You probably can't see that, but it's in there. And what they do is when you cut something out that's ravelly with pinking shears, it puts the diagonal cut as you cut which will actually help keep the fabric from fraying and becoming a big mess. You know, if you remember, if you've ever had a flannel nightgown that was homemade and when it got washed, it had all the threads inside and all the strings because if it was just sewn by mom who didn't know, then, you know, when it got washed, it got really hairy inside, right? So if you use a pinking shear, it kind of it kind of stops at the unraveling before it even starts. So that will help protect the edges. Great for satins, for cottons, and, and fabrics like that. So these are really a must to have in your sewing room. Okay. Now, Reva, the question came in, some people have joined late, and they want to know, if they were late, is there any way that they can still see the beginning? Absolutely, absolutely. I'll back up right now and we'll start over. No, we're not going to do that. But if you go, after this is done, after we're done today, then um, it will be able to be re-watched on Facebook. So you can get it, everything over and over. You can watch it all night long and just drive your family members crazy. But... Um, it, but it's good to, to be able to go back if you weren't able to catch the very front. So I appreciate that uh, comment, and I'm glad that you're here with us now. Um, also, if there was something that you saw that you thought, oh, I remember she talked about that, but what did it do again? Then just go back and rewatch. Um, and also, if you just joined us, we are giving some things away today. And all you need to do to be in the drawing is to like, comment, and share this video. And you'll be put in the drawing because the drawing is random. And then on Monday, we're going to draw the winner. So make sure you like, comment, and share. And um, you'll be in the drawing. So I hope that helps. And welcome to anybody who came in late. And welcome to everybody who's been here since the very beginning. So, all right, so let's go on. Oh, let me show you this. You see the chenille down here? It's, it's really fun. It's done with embroidery, but I got my fuzzy paw there. Really easy to cut with a chenille cutter. So this, this is a very unique, it's a unique product. It is a rotary blade, but what's neat about it is that when you want to make your slashes on the fabric here, all you do is slip the fabric right over that little Put that tongue under the fabric that you want, and it works as a cutting mat for the cutter. And you just go zoop, and it just cuts right through all the layers, and you don't have to hold your tongue right or anything. Works like a dream. It has two different guards on it for different thicknesses of fabric that you're walk, working with. And this one is stubby, and this one's longer, and it works like a dream. So it's lots of fun. So if you're working with any projects that call for chenille, whether it be hooped and bordered like this, or you're creating it your own on, on the sewing machine. I know I did a rug one time when chenille first came out. My kids were little, so this is a long time ago, but it was a bath mat, and you just do layers of fabric, and then you have to cut through all those things, and I had to cut, because you channel sew. You take all the layers, and you channel sew, make straight lines, parallel lines across the entire thing and then you cut in between those lines of stitching and then they will bloom um, especially after being laundered but I tell you I had to cut them and it's hard getting your scissors into those little spots and cutting straight whereas this is just a couple of seconds it's amazing how how fast and easy that is oh gotta love these these are the new quilter select 
uh, pins. There's a hundred pins in here. They're glass head and they come in this really neat box and the box is magnetized inside. So you can just store them in here and then just pop them right back in when you're done. And so they're, those are awesome. And they're very, they're a nice uh, fine shaft on the pin. So I, I know it won't make any difference from this distance. It's kind of one of those things that you have to feel, but they have, they are nice length. They're not overly long because, you know, long ones get a little cumbersome to use, but since they're so thin and so sharp, they easily go into thick materials, which is really pretty handy to have a high quality um, pin. And again, they're glass head, so they're not going to melt when you press them, okay? Or press the fabric they happen to be attached to. Okay. Oh, oh, I feel something. Wouldn't you love to get a, a stocking like this? It's full of all this stuff that you had no idea what's in there. That would be really cool. So again, you can stock your, stuff your own stocking. Oh, this is awesome. This is the Quilter Select Ruler Handle. So how this works is, let me, I'll grab a ruler so you can see. We actually have several of the Quilter Select rulers on sale on the website. Oh, and if you join late, I'm sorry, I forgot to tell you this too. On our website, if you go to qualiesewing.com, the head banner should say stocking stuffer ideas or Reva's favorite stuff. I don't know, something like that. I didn't write it, so I don't remember. Um, but it will be up there. And if you click on it, it's gonna go to a listing of all the products we're talking about today. Now, if you don't see that banner, you can cycle through because there's like five different pictures or banners that will be up there. So you can just uh, touch the first button down or a little bubble. There's a little white dot underneath it that you can get to that. Okay, so these are the Quilter Select rulers and I absolutely love these. I've actually replaced all the rulers in my sewing room with these. I gave all my other ones away uh, because these are my favorite. They're the easiest to work with. And um, we're going to talk a little bit about why in a minute, but I want to talk to you, tell you about that handle again. So the handle, and this will work on any ruler, not just the Quilter Select rulers, but it has a really easy to hold on to knob and a, and a little suction cup that's attached to it. So you suction cup the handle to the ruler and that gives you something to hold on while you're cutting. And then when you're ready to move it, you can move it and you don't have your fingers right near the edge. It's not necessarily something that you're going to pick up and walk around with your ruler because that's not what it's designed for. It's designed to be here so you can move your ruler around and get precise placement with your ruler. So that's that. Okay, while we have them out, let me tell you about these rulers. And then I'm going to tell you specifically about these two sizes that I have right here. So the Quilter Select rulers are really pretty awesome. They have a nice fine line. I don't know if you've ever noticed, but some rulers have really fat markings on them. They're very difficult to see. It, you know, not you can see the lines really well, but if you have the edge of the fabric, do you put it on the left edge of the line, on the right edge of the line? Where is the measurement? So these are pretty thin, so you're able to align them properly, but it's also this really neat yellow color. So if you notice, if you were working with black, you can see the markings, even though I'm wearing black, because the yellow helps uh, dull down the fabric surface so you can see the markings. And if you're working with white, you can see the markings. So it doesn't matter what color fabric you're working on, you're able to see your markings and your measurements through everything. Now this yellow color is actually the coating that's on the back of them. And that coating gives your, your ruler grip so it doesn't slip out from where you've placed it. If you place it on your fabric and you put your hand on it, it stays there. It doesn't go oops and slip and slide all over the place. So you're gonna love these rulers. And they actually, the markings on these rulers line up exactly with the markings on the Quilter Select mats. So that's a really uh, positive thing. Now this is a six and a half inch by 24 inch ruler. So where I have found this to be really handy is when I'm working on a project that's a six inch 
finished block, you need to work with a measurement that is six and a half inches. I, I don't know about you, but I've gone years with a six by 24 inch ruler and been ha perfectly happy, not thinking that I needed anything else as far as that goes. But once I started using the six and a half inch ruler, it made life so much easier because you have that extra half inch, which accounts for the seam allowance on a six and a, a six inch finished block. So that's really pretty handy. This other one right here is an eight and a half. Now this is a game changer. This is an eight and a half by 24 inch ruler. And what makes this so wonderful is there's many times we want to cut wider than six inches. So this is now my go-to size because I can cut narrow, but I also can cut all the way up to eight and a half inches. And again, if you're working with an eight inch finished block, you have a, uh, the and half, you have the seam allowance here. If you're working with a four inch finished block, you would go to the four and a half measurement, the five and a half, six, seven, eight. So you have the in half size and you have the full inch size. So if you want a two inch strip, cut here. If you want a two and a half inch strip, you cut on this side. So it just makes it really easy. So again, it has that wonderful non-slip property to it and it's really pretty fabulous. So are the pinking shears from Kai? Yes, ma'am. Those pinking shears are from Kai. Ooh, look, I can open it. I didn't realize that. Santa won't care, will he? Oh, look at those. Those are beautiful. Now, oh, Santa, I want me a pair the pinging shears I have, I think I got when I was in design school. So we're talking a long time ago. These are beautiful. If you've ever used a pair of pinging shears that are, well, not these. A lot of times pinging shears have a catch. You go to close them and they're, they're really tough on your hands. These, oh my goodness, these go really, really smoothly um, when you close them. So I think this pair is going home with me today. I'll stock, I'm going to stuff my own stocking, but yes, they are Kai, Kai, and so they have the comfort grip on the inside of the handholds here, and they're lovely, and Carrie, you know what, we're going to give a pair of these away too, Ooh. as a door prize, let's give one of these away, because I want you guys to experience how beautiful these Kai's are, so um, if you like, comment, and share, you might win yourself a pair of these beautiful pinky shares absolutely fabulous so someone named rob said reva please show me something that roxy doesn't have i'm running out of items to buy her for christmas <laughs> <laughs> you know what my husband did last year he was so sweet he went into my sewing room while i wasn't home and went through my drawers and tried to find stuff but he didn't look in all the drawers so he still duplicated so good job um we have some new stuff coming up, so I think we should be able to find her more. The, actually, I've got some good things, so hold on. We're going to get to some really good things you know coming up. Do you know how much those pinking shears are? Someone's asking. They are more than $2 and less than 2000 Hold on. She's looking it up. Um, so they're, they're a good deal at less than $2,000. While she's looking that up, I may as well tell you about another door prize that we're going to do. Um, She's looking at pinky shears. They're normally $38.99, and right now they're on sale at $34.99. So thank you, Carrie. I'm going to give that back to you just in case we need to. All the prices are on the website. I don't remember prices. Things that are printed are meant to be looked up. Because <laughs> you know what? If you shove more stuff in your brain, something's bound to fall out, and you never know what is going to go. So um, do take a look at that on our website, qualiesewing.com, and just click on the banner that has um, the holiday gifts. And uh, we're going to give away a wonderful spool of the Floriani Press and Bond thread. This stuff is awesome. It is a fusible thread. You can put it in your needle or in your bobbin. If you like to do embroidery and you want to make a patch, you use this as your bobbin thread. And then when you're all done, you can press that. You can cut out your little design and press it onto a cap bill, on a shoe, on a shirt, whatever you want to, on a bag you've purchased, a, like a, a purse you purchased, and it's it will fuse to it. So that's pretty awesome. Um, I like to use it. I like to sew, not just in border. I love to embroider, but I love to sew. So, so one thing I've been doing with it lately is I put it in my bobbin, and before I do the lining on a bag, I stitch about that long with just this thread. And then that way, when I'm done sewing 
and I have that turning hole that you leave open, that's what's been sewn on one layer of fabric. Then when you flip it right side, right side out, you can fuse that hole shut. Yeah, yeah, just fuse it shut. Easy peasy. So that's gonna go to someone who likes, comments, and shares. And again, that will be drawn on Monday. Okay. All right. Oh, oh, something good in here. Oh, this is good. This is oh, these are so cool. This is called a stash in the store. Let's see if I can get it out without. How many of you, this is a Carrie question because she'll be monitoring. How many of you unwrapped your presents when you were a kid and rewrapped them up? Mm-hmm. Did you ever do that to see what you're getting for Christmas? We're getting I, a lot of thumbs up. So I oh, guess seriously, you did? you did? Okay, I never did. I was a good girl. Not that you're not a good girl or good boy, but I never. I probably didn't have the skill to rewrap. I had a girlfriend who um, lived up the street from me, and she unwrapped her presents, completely unwrapped them before Christmas, and could get them wrapped back again without anybody knowing. What a skill. Uh, well, Ramona and Vicky said yes, they're peekers. Oh, you're peekers, okay. <laughs> All right, so this is a stash in store, and this is the small size. This is the mini, and this is really cool because you can stick stuff in it that's not in a package. Well, okay, so if <laughs> I'm so prepared, right? So if this is, I got it, Carrie, look, I got it. Oh, she's getting me some stuff. So you can stick your scissors in there. You can stick a pen that Carrie's walking around and not handing me. You can take a pen and you can have this. And I have it right by my sewing machine. I actually have my fabric pen in it. I have my glue stick and I put that in there. I have the bigger one, which I think might be a Santa gift somewhere in here. But this is a perfect size and um, is really great, especially if you're like me and you like to have things set up and ready to go. I do have a whole bag of notions that are the primary notions I need when I sew and I have that in a to-go bag. So if I'm taking a class or going to a retreat, I don't have to root around my sewing room to find something. I just make myself, uh, you know, I just put it in my to-go bag. So if you're looking, Rob, if you're looking for that Christmas gift, it's okay to duplicate because then you can have, she can have a to-go bag, right? So it's okay if you duplicate. All right, let's see if there's anything else. Oh, there is. Oh, this stuff is awesome. This is called Free Fuse. Now, what this is, it's, it's not magic juice, it's magic dust. Okay, so what this is, is the granules are um, a little kind of like salt-like, I guess, is how I would um, describe it. And um, so in here, this is a fusible powder. So when you get that, you open this up and you pour it into the cardboard tube, and then you put your lid on. I know someone who got one of these and thought it was broken because nothing came out because she didn't open the bag inside. So you wanna open the bag, but then you have a shaker. So if you're going to be basting your quilt together, a project that you need to keep the layers together, you put down your batting and then just lightly salt. Don't, you know, make it come out really hard. Just lightly salt, less is actually more in this case, right? Just lightly salt and then put your fabric over the top and then you iron it and these little, these little um, guys melt and fuse, the fusible melts and activates and holds the layers together. But what's really cool about this is it's not like other powders. It, um, it actually stays soft. And so I, if you've ever used another powder, sometimes they get kind of hard in that spot. But this is made of, a, of a, some sort of a polymer. And so it stays soft when and you can sew through it and you can pin through it but it keeps your layers together beautifully and if you run out so this might be something for rob it's okay to run out because you can buy more refill you don't have to buy another one of these you can just get one of these okay so this stuff is awesome i use it all the time and um i think it came out a couple of years ago and I'm still only on my first one. I haven't even put my refill in it yet. So it lasts a, a nice long time. Okay. All right, let's do another door prize. 
okay? All right, so this is lovely. This is a Liberty of London pincushion, and Liberty of London is a famous, beautiful fabric house. So this is a Liberty of London uh, fabric pincushion, and it's a little mouse, and it's so, so cute. So this is going to go to a lucky, a lucky winner. You can, you can even name it, you know, and take it home. All right. This is falling out, so you may as well talk about this now. This is the bobbin nests, and this is really fun because you can take your bobbin that has thread on it and pop it in here, and uh, it helps keep that tail controlled. So not only do your bobbins not go running all over or get tangled up with each other, but it also stays neat and tidy. So you can get like 30 bobbins in here, which is really pretty fantastic. So, and it has kind of a grip -um, um surface to it. So it holds it in. Ah, hot fix. It is time for crystals and everybody loves some bling. This is a hot, uh, hot fix crystal tool. I don't know if I'm going to get it. Oh, here. There's the proper end to open it on. And I just want you to see it does not come with any tips because the tip that is on this is a universal tip. So you don't have to worry about putting, changing the tips for the different sizes of stones. If you've used one of the old style that do have those special sizes, the stones would get caught in there. The glue gets on there. They get mucky and it's hard. The stones then don't come out. So this is a universal one and it is battery, um, battery operated. So you just pop an, a battery in here and it's no, there's no cord to get I always worried about the cord. The cord gets tangled on things. I might hit it, then I don't want the tool to fall over. So it is off unless you push the button and you have a battery in it, okay? So when you push the button, it you just hold it for a few seconds and it gets hot and it gets hot very quickly. And don't be holding it and go, I wonder if it's hot yet. Don't, don't do that, it hurts again. Not that I'm speaking from personal experience or anything, but it gets hot very fast. So you're going to love this. Uh, personally, I store mine with the battery out of it because I don't want the elves to go and play with my tool. Anyway. Sorry, but can these products be purchased in the store or should they purchase them online? Oh, good question. Thank you for that. Um, they, a lot of these items are in the stores. However, if you want to make sure of the quantity and not to have to go look and have the store order it for you, you just order them right from our website, qualitysewing.com. And then in the comments, in when you purchase, you just say, I'd like to pick up at whichever store. So if you want to pick it up in Everett or Kirkland or Puyallup or Silverdale, then we'll just have it set directly to there for you. And you've just saved tons of time because you can shop right now or a little bit later or give it to your honey to purchase you things. And, and we all know that errands aren't always fun, but getting things are. So just um, have them order or you can order right from our website and just designate the place you'd like to pick it up. So it's kind of like doing both, right? But now you know you're going to get these things because we have them here in the warehouse. Okay. So thank you for that question. Okay. Oh. Orders over $100. Oh, orders over $100 ship for free. So you can even have it go right to your home. And that, that would at least fill a stocking, right? I would think so. All right. This is called the Blade Saver Thread Cutter. So this is kind of kind of a fun little thing. There's a whole little pamphlet here. But what this is, it's not just a hockey puck. No, not at all. You open this guy up, and then there's a snowflake or a flower inside. And you just take the screw off of this, and you put a ro old rotary cutter blade inside the flower. Okay? And then you put it back together. Then... This is a magnet. It magnetizes shut if you line it up right. Okay, you heard it snap. So there's that. And now this will hold that. So if you are doing chain piecing and you have your little pieces and you need to cut the threads, you've got your rotary cutter blade in there that you've now recycled into a new purpose. And you can easily cut and divide up your chain piecing or cut the threads off the end of your of your fabric even if you're doing a garment you can trim that without having to reach over pick up scissors and then go trim so that's kind of a handy little thing it's got little grip -um, um 
on the the little seats on him so that's pretty pretty cool and they that's it's pretty kind of a neat idea and you could take it to a class with you because look it's all protected you can't cut yourself it's ready to go traveling all right this is the see i think it's this is called seven in one let me remember re let me read no this is the no hassle triangle gauge see what i know okay so all the instructions are right on here and i know that nancy has um a video uh nancy uh, zeman this is one of her products and what this will do it has all the markings so if you want to make quarter square triangles or half square triangles it has uh, alignment mark so if I want to do a four and a half inch finish triangle it shows me right there how to line it up it lets you mark the center so you know where to stitch or the sides wherever you need to stitch and all the instructions are there so you can make all the different sizes of triangles fast and accurately with this little tool here which size blade does a snowflake cutter use that's a 45 I'm trying to think, I think you might be able to use one of the smaller ones, but if you did that, it would have to go down into the flower so deep that it might stress the fabric you're trying to cut apart to go down that far in. Um, and I do not believe, this one is designed for a 45 degree, a 45 millimeter uh, blade. Okay. All right, good question. All right, oh, my favorite scissors. Ugh. Okay, again, Kai, I'm a little biased. What can I say? These are um, a nine inch dressmaker shear. And one thing that caused me to fall in love with Kai's, I don't know if you, you have ever used them, but the material, one thing is that the material for the um, handles is really soft and easy to use. Oh, that's nice. Um, I don't know if you can see that, but this is the thumb hole. Look at that slope. That feels so good. Uh, there's actually two different styles of handles. There's like a European style handle and Asian style handle. It was a, at a market. I saw, learned some stuff from a, a scissor manufacturer, but this is so comfortable. Um, have you ever saw, used a metal pair of scissors that have like that real sharp edge here? And I hate them because they, they, they're so pretty and they are beautiful scissors but they give me a blister when I'm doing a lot of cutting out. Something like this is so comfortable. You can get in there and have it just, it, it's, it's comfortable. It's not a pain just to cut. And these, the blades on Kai scissors are so smooth and so, so beautiful. And they cut right to the tip. So they're a high, high quality uh, scissor. They're not, they're really not terribly expensive, especially if you're comparing to some other scissors, like the all metal ones can be a lot more expensive, but I'll tell you, this is a treat. So if you are looking for a pair of scissors, you should treat yourself or someone you love to a pair of Kai's because, oh, what a difference they make. They're absolutely beautiful. So those are fun. Let's see what else we got. Okay. Oh, fun. This is the embellished seam ripper. Everybody needs a new seam ripper every once in a while. Just because you got one with your machine 50 years ago does not mean that you still have one. If you've had yours for a couple of years and you have to unsew, that can go dull. So treat yourself to a new one every once in a while. And this one has a nice uh, small tip at the pointy end. Have you ever noticed some of them get really chubby? This one actually is a nice a nice taper on it. And um, one thing I like besides it being really cute with the flowers is that it has a uh, kind of a flat sides that go around kind of like an exaggerated pencil. So it's not going to roll off your table. So this is uh, really pretty cool. So uh, if you're going to get a new seam ripper, this is good. So again, Rob, if she has a seam ripper, she needs a new one. So. And do those kind of scissors come right-handed or left-handed? Yeah, right yes, they do come right and left-handed. So obviously two different pairs because you generally don't use, the way we cut with the left hand, our motion is different than if we cut with our right hand, so you need the proper scissor. But Kai does make both left and right-handed scissors. So that's a great question, great question. Okay. All right. Oh, here's another Tula Pink. These are the four and a half Swiss style angled uh, tweezer. So they have kind of like a, uh, 
a swan uh, shape to the angle of the tweezer and they have a comfort grip where you push. So these are really handy when you're working with um, little pieces of fabric. They're good to have at your machine just while you're sewing. And um, so you can, you know how you, you, you're sewing and the fabric gets away from you or the, the seam doesn't want to go real great. You just use these and you can uh, maneuver the fabric right under where you want to go. So just use this as like a little third hand. They're pretty fabulous. So again, they have that wonderful oil slick finish on them. So they're really pretty. Oh, another tulip pink. Oh, these are pretty. These are the applique scissors. And this is a six inch and these are serrated. Now what the serration does for you, serrated scissors will let you be precise with your cuts. So as you trim and you take, you, you're cutting the serration holds onto the fabric so the fabric doesn't squish out have you ever done that where you you're cutting and the fabric just kind of goes whoop, 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 and it's going away from the scissors so these are the um, serrated so they're not going to do that and they're the duck bill so if you're working with applique like when I cut out my little toes here you the duck bills are really handy because it protects the bottom surface so you're only cutting the part you want to cut. So that's what an applique scissor is done, is, is designed for, but having that, that serrated edge actually helps it grip so you have even more control. And again, they have that real fun oil slick finish. So someone was asking about the Kai dressmaker scissors. We just went to go make sure our elves are getting that on the website. So someone said they couldn't find it. Oh, yes. So if it's not there, it will be shortly. Yes, and you should see our other elf. We have this, this elf that flies from here to there and then flies back again and delivers those messages. So, yes, we are getting the left-handed ones on the site. Um, oh, and speaking of left-handed, I should have mentioned... All of the Quilter Select products are designed for both left-handed and right-handed people. Um, I'm left-handed, but sometimes I'm right-handed, but I am left-handed. So what a left-handed ruler means is that it's from zero to from zero to 18 on the, or 24 in this case to this side, and it's zero to 24 going this way. So you see the numbers going both directions. And if you're left-handed, and your left hand dominant, you're cutting, you're probably cutting on this side, I guess. And if you're right hand dominant, you're cutting this way. So you need to be able to read those measurements without having to do backward math. Um, or if you're like me and you actually cut with both hands with your rotary cutter, not at the same time, but you know, I don't care which side the fabric's on, I just cut it. But then you can read from either end. So that's an important thing. And all the Quilter Select scissors also come both left and right-handed because Alex Anderson is left-handed as well. So, so thank you, little fairy elf, for taking that and getting those left-handed ones put on online. All right. Oh, here's a stash in store. Now, these do come in different colors. This is the same as this, only it's, it's Big Brother. And so you have a lot more space. And this is the one that I have by my sewing machine. This is the one I take uh, to a class or to a retreat. So really fun. You can even put small rulers in here. I don't usually put my long ones, but my, my little squares, even my four and a half inch square, I can put that in there and uh, get that. Down. Someone mentioned they put their crafting supplies in there. Oh, that's a good idea. Crafting, su crafting supplies are the best. Someone asked, who's Alex Anderson? Oh, Alex Anderson. Um, that's her. Right there. Um, Alex Anderson is, and actually I should do this. Okay, Carrie, can you see? Alex mm -hmm. Anderson is an internationally known quilter. She's very, very famous um, in the quilting world. So she does beautiful quilts and things like that. And she's absolutely a lovely lady. She's a kick in the pants. She's kind of sassy. I, I, you know, I really like her. And um, so she had partnered with R&K. And R&K is the manufacturer who creates the Floriani products, the cosplay, the embellished products. So um, this is a division of R&K, which is uh, Quilter Select. And that's in partnership with Alex Anderson. So she, she knows all the things quilting. She's a pro. All right. I think I've emptied out. Oh, no, there's one more thing in here. But we're not done. Don't worry. 
Oh, these are the embellished tweezers. So if you want tweezers for crafting, whether it be your scan and cut or for sewing or other crafting projects, these are just really cute because they have the pretty, pretty flowers on them and they match the little uh, the seam ripper. And they have little scissors too that all match. Okay, so we're going to look at some things back on the back. Um, but before we do, I'm going to show you this ruler because I've had it sitting here. This is the Embellish T-Shirt Centering Ruler. So if you have a scanning cut, or even if you like to do embroidery, but you want to decorate apparel, getting your design in the right spot on your shirt can be a challenge. So what this has, I'm going to borrow Carrie's stocking again. It has a crew neck and a V-neck. So if this were your shirt, you could line up whichever neckline matches with your, your shirt, and then you can decide where you want it to be, your design to be. So this is center, and it, it's centered out one, two, three, four, five. So you can make sure it's evenly placed on the garment and in the same place every time. So let's say you have a family reunion and you're doing like 15 shirts, and you need to make sure they all look similar. You want them to be the same distance away from the neckline and you want them to be centered. So this is the embellished centering, t-shirt centering ruler. And that's really pretty good. All right, Carrie, you gotta tell your mom your stocking is beautiful. Okay, speaking of Scan and Cut, we have another fun thing from Scan and Cut. In fact, I have a couple of things. And we may as well do all three of the, the Scan and Cut things right now. This is the new um, Scan and Cut matte case so this is designed to hold your uh, mats and so it zips open and you've got pockets in here for supplies and for your mats and it even comes with a hanger so you can hang it over your door so this is a great way to store your mats keep them clean and um, out of the way you know over the door when you're not using them so that's beautiful this makes a wonderful gift Wonderful gift. Okay, also for the scanning cut, I have a box that's missing. Here, we have a box that's missing. All right, well, I'll tell you about it. I have no, those elves. I don't know what I did with it. Oh, <laughs> it's in play. It's right here. Sorry, Carrie. <laughs> okay, this is the Disney um, uh, uh, Vinyl Auto Blade set. And so this is for the auto blade machines, the scan and cut with the, that the blade, uh, the machine automatically knows how thick the materials are you that you're cutting. And this is designed to work with vinyl, whether it be heat transfer vinyl for t-shirts or sticker vinyl for stickers. When you're working with vinyl, a lot of times you're working with fine details, small letters and things like that. And the, if the blade, this blade has been designed so it's thin enough so if you're making something tiny it's going to cut it out very cleanly and just very beautifully and in addition to the blade that you get in here you also get disney um doohickeys so this is for if you have a dx machine that has the auto blade and so uh actually very different i was talking with some some um sewing friends this last uh week and I had cut out, not using the vinyl blade, I had cut out a uh, vinyl design with my regular blade, and I, I gave up getting it ready. You have to weed it. Once you cut it, you weed it, which means remove the extra sticker material you don't want. And I was doing that, and it took me 20 minutes just to do two, two words. And I was so irritated, and they weren't coming out clean, so I just put it away. I got myself the vinyl auto blade the next day at work and cut it out and it weeded in like 20 seconds. It was just amazing the difference that it made and the letters were all cleanly cut. So I am a firm believer in the value of that auto blade. Does the mat, um, sorry, the, mm -hmm. the carrying case, does it hold all of the mats? It holds all of the mats that you can have that can fit in this. So. <laughs> So it, it actually will hold quite a bit. It is not long enough for the 24 inch mat to fit completely in here. So he may need to live someplace else. 
but if you have your 12 by 12 mats, whether it be the scanning mat, the low tack, the fabric, the standard mat, those can all fit in here beautifully along with um, other materials. Like I said, you can put in here, you could put your mats and then you can put in other supplies because there's pockets. You can put your blades in here, you know, all sorts of things. Um, even vinyl, sheets of vinyl and stuff can fit in here because there's lots of pockets. Um, but the 24 inch mats won't fit in inside there. So that's a good question. And this is good for any of the machines. So if you have an older scan and cut, this will work. If you have the new DX, this will work. So it doesn't matter what age your machine is. Another thing that's kind of universal that I just dropped as I had, you know, grabbed that. This is the toolkit. And it says DX on it, but it's good for any of the scan and cut models or for anybody that has any type of, of electronic digital cutting machine, this is awesome. So you get this wonderful zipper case. Here it has a handle on it, um, and it's just really pretty. But when you open it up, it has a stylus to use to, to run the machine. There is a scraper. So that way you can make sure your, your material is adhered very, very well to your uh, mat surface. There are reverse tweezers, and these are really cool because they stay closed until you pinch them, then they open up. So when you let go of them, then they hold on to, well, or unless you drop them, then they hold on to what you're wanting to do. So you don't have to just sit there and pinch them shut. So that is really pretty handy. Then there is a pick, and this pick is used for weeding out the parts of your project that you do not want. So like the inside of an O or the outside of a word that you want gone, that's what this will get underneath that layer of vinyl and take that off. And then my favorite is this spatula. This will help get any of the materials that you're working with off of your sticky mat. And it's very, very thin. So you can just slide right underneath that paper or fabric or whatever it is and um, you can get it under there and get that released. Uh, the, of course, your scan and cut or electronic cover cutter should come with a spatula, but the ones for the scan and cut are great, but they're thicker because they're all plastic, whereas this is really, really thin, so it gets under there really easy without um, damaging the material that you're working with. So that is our great little package here. Oh, sorry, package there. So a couple of people have asked for a wish list, and uh -huh. while we do not have one yet, we will make one, and we will um, attach that to this video. So, so the elves will be hard at work creating, and this will be done by my chief Megan elf, <laughs> and it will be pretty, because <laughs> everything she does is lovely, but I would say give her a day, and then we'll have a wish list up there, but thank you, um, uh, er, uh, Carrie, Carrie Fairy elf. <laughs> for making things happen. Carrie is awesome at making sure things happen. Okay, I've got some more small things over here, but um, I want to show you some of the big things that I've got back here because these are pretty cool. Now, if you're looking for a unique gift that someone may not have, and especially if someone that you know someone who has everything, right? Sometimes it's fun to give them an experience, not just a thing. So this is a class in a bag. So this is called the Ginger Purse. It's from Sally Tomato, and who is a designer. Uh, Jessica is the owner of Sally Tomato. And so she has created this wonderful pattern to make this bag. And in here you get the pattern and you get all the materials to make the bag. This one happens to be this really cute pink with gold um, uh, grid on it. The fabric is from... Um, Oh my goodness, my brain went dead. Ruby Star Society. And um, so the fabric is really beautiful. We have the pink with the gold. We have an ivoryish white with a, I think it's a copper uh, grid on it. And then we have a really pretty one that's called cross uh, graph paper. And it's a whitish ivory with a blue. Oh, it's really pretty. So the, everything you need to make this bag is in this kit. Um, you just add thread, okay? Now, 
the best part about that is we just had a class with Jessica from Sally Tomato and she did a nice overview with us and along with this project you're going to have access to that overview and you're also going to have access to the online class that she filmed on how to make this purse step by step. So not only are you gonna give someone a fun project and all the materials to do it, but you're going to be able to give them the class because that comes with it. And when you get this, there will be a little card taped to the front with the information on where to go to see the how-to videos, also to see uh, Jessica's blog and Facebook page, or no, her YouTube channel. She's got lots of information on there. So that's uh, ready. It's just ready to go right there. And quantities are very limited. So if this is something that you're interested in for yourself or for a gift, make sure you get on and order that because it's more than just the kit. It's also the class that is recorded. And you have access to our live um, uh, overview with Jessica that we just had the other day. So that's a fun one. Another experience that you can give someone is the Warm Winter Wishes. This is a, um, a project in a box, more than a project in a box. It is 12 projects in a box. And in this, this was one of the projects, this stocking. Um, but there are 12 different projects that use embroidery and the scan and cut or electronic cut. It doesn't have to be a scan and cut. So you can do all sorts of, whoops of different projects, whether they be just fun and decorative, or you're talking about Sally. Sally Tomato is $49.99. Yeah, so that kit is $49.99 for Sally Tomato. I saw her getting the paper. I'm like, that one I know. That one I know. Okay, so, and this project was in there as well. So it's got the embroidery, and it also ha comes with the chalkboard vinyl, so you can write in the appropriate number for the day. Carrie was giving me a hard time earlier. She says, what's the deal with the seven? I said, well, it was kind of a pretty letter, a number to write, and so I just put seven. I don't know. Anyway, it's kind of fun. Um, another project is this one here. This is cool. This one's called the bucket list. Isn't that pretty? This is um, a heat transfer vinyl that is foil. And I've never put it on metal before, but all the instructions are in the Warm Winter Wishes kit. And it will go through and tell you how to do it step by step. And the fun thing about this is that there's embroidery designs that go with it. And it's a game or it's a family activity. So um, you have someone draw uh, one of the ornaments and they come with um, they come with certain words on it but if you have software you can change them and have them be whatever your tradition is so this says make a snowman we'd have to make it out of cookie dough I don't think at, you know here it's gonna be or donate a toy so these are just some fun little things that um, that you have in that project book then we also have um, this is a chenille pil pillow using puffy foam in that beaut I think that turned out beautifully using the matte embellished thread and then there's the chenille and I use the chenille cutter on that so really really kind of fun there's a couple of different pillows in there there's um, uh, home items accent items decorator there's a, a, a floor mat for you the front a doormat doormat for your front door um, all sorts of things so you get in the kit you get the binder with all the instructions. You also get a USB stick with all of the designs, both for uh, electronic cutters and for embroidery. Um, you can also use the, electro the, um, the electronic uh, cutter files to cut something else. So this is a, I just used the file and made an ornament and it has all of our names on it and everything for this year. So just really lots of fun. So you, you don't have to do the project, you can do anything you want. And also, in addition to the binder, you get all of the materials, all the support materials to do the project. So you get all the stabilizer, the puffy foam, you get the foil, everything that you need to make 12 projects. And this membership box goes runs uh, through January, and then after January, there will be a new topic. But in if with this purchase you you have access to an exclusive Facebook page where Hope and other people will be sharing ideas and content and then also we're 
we, Quali Sewing, are doing a series of a total of four classes and you'll also have access to all of that content um, where we give tips and techniques and everything concerning how to make the different projects or the different topics of the projects. So that's a lot of fun too. So those are very limited in number, um, but if that's something that you want to give, that would be hours worth of enjoyment for your, your loved one to enjoy, or yourself, yourself. Give it to yourself. Someone's asking, who is the kit from and how much does it cost? Okay, the kit is uh, from um, Embellish and Hope Yoder. So Hope Yoder is a very uh, famous uh, gal who specializes in embroidery and in uh, electronic cutting machines. And so she has created these 12 different projects using different techniques and it, it she, that's part of the embellish and embellish is a division of r and k so we and we talked a little bit about the sister company which is culture select so they're two different two different things um, and embellish is a division of r and k that is uh, designed to work with the type of things that hope likes to do she likes to do the electronic cutter she likes to upcycle and embellish and um take things like a, a denim jacket and add personality to it. So the materials and the stabilizers and all that are designed for working with difficult to use things or uh, crafty type things that maybe you have more stitch count. So they're a little bit heavier and beefier than other than um, a standard embroidery design. So uh, they, they work beautifully. And you get to try those different uh, products in here and also get the, the instructions and everything for the 12 projects. And like I said, you can do more uh, with that. Now the, the, whole, uh, the whole kit here, with everything is $299. The value, of course, is far more than that. And you also have the Facebook um, resources and chats and everything. And then also you have access to the four classes that we at Quality Sewing are putting on. Uh, we've already hosted a couple of them. So those ones, the recordings, you will have access to the recordings of those uh, classes. Or if you give it as a gift, whoever you give it to will have access to any that are coming up for the warm winter wishes or ones that have already come. So uh, no one will be left out there. So, okay. Let's do another door prize real quick because I don't want to um, not for, I don't want to forget, right? So how do you win a door prize? You're going to like, comment, and share on this video, and then you'll be put in a drawing, and it will be random, and Monday we're going to draw the winners. So you'll be notified, so make sure you, um, you like, comment, and share. So we're going to give away um, the Kimberbell blank embroidery towels. These are awesome tea towels. Well, actually, they're bigger. They're more like kitchen towel size, but there will be three winners to this. There's a nice neutral pair with a, um, uh, one is polka dots and one is stripes and the navy has the two towels and then the, uh, the fun green has the two different towels in there. So we're gonna draw three lucky winners for those. So like, comment, and share, and you might win one of the fabulous prizes that we have there. And then uh, just a few more things. I think I'm gonna talk about this one. Somebody's this. asking about the information for the Mary and Bright wall hanging behind you. Mary and Bright, is that this one? That is OESD. And so we should have that on our website, but I'm sure the elves will double check to make sure it's on the website. And there's two different versions. You can do it in the colored version. They both come in the same CD, so there's not two different CDs. It is good for all embroidery um, machines, so not just a certain brand. It's for all brands of machines, and it's called a tile scene. So if you notice, there's a grid to it. So you sew out the sections in your embroidery machine, one grouping at a time. So if you have a little embroidery machine, you can still make a big project. If you have a big ma machine, you can make a bigger project, right? So it fits in all different machines and you can do it. One version is monochromatic, so like in whites or whatever color you choose. And this is the multicolor version. So it is um, an OESD design collection. And actually, hold on, it's OESD. Oh, it's just called Marion Bright. So sorry, I thought there was a number on it, but there's not. Okay, you guys have great questions. Okay, this is the uh, Quilter 
select starter tool set. Now, if you already have um, some of these tools and you don't need a tool set, the size of this tool set is perfect to go to a retreat or as your travel sewing bag. So let's open it up and I'll show you everything that comes inside. Ta-da, look, it comes with paper. Okay. So inside the pretty paper, this is like unwrapping something twice. It has one of the mats and this is the, um, the 12 by 18 mat and the quilter select mats are double sided. So no matter what color of fabric you're working on, you're going to be able to see your mat. And the lines on here match up exactly with that ruler that I was talking about. Now you notice it's curved, but that's because it's been shoved in a box, but it's okay because if you set it down here, it will relax and it goes back to the flat, uh, flat shape. So you don't have to worry about um, having it uh, stretch out. So then you also have in here, one of the glue sticks. You have a fabulous six and a half by six and a half ruler. See, perfect travel size, right? And you get one of the uh, rotary cutters. And I love this rotary cutter. It makes a world of difference. Um, it is heavy, so the weight of the cutter does the work. You don't have to push. And so actually you have less fatigue from using this. It's both left and right handed and the guard is on it, so you don't have to go find it. Um, so it's, it has a safety on it. So this is a wonderful size uh, for travel. I actually have a mat like this right next to my sewing machine, so that way I can um, do any trimming that I need to do. I have a small ruler, a rotary cutter, and this mat right next to my machine, so I don't have to get up and go to my cutting table. So this is a wonderful, wonderful, um, Thing to add to your room. So this is, let's see if I can get it back in the box. Oops, close enough. Ah, close enough. So, yeah. I say all the time, Paul should be glad he doesn't have a china company. Okay, so this is the Quilter Select um, Starter Toolkit. So that you'll find on the website as well. And I'll put it back together later. Okay, the last few things that I have to show you, this is really really pretty neat. This is called a halo and it's a halo go, which means it's tra you can travel with it. So the halo has, um, let me show you. So if you take this and I open it up, see, it's like a halo. See, see it's a halo. Okay. So this is actually a magnifying glass right here and it has the led lighting on it and it's rechargeable. So there's three different levels of light. You have the brightest, the medium, and then the off, right? And then if you want to see something up close, if you're doing any type of handwork or needlework or anything like that, you can see what you're working on right through here. But if you're not using it, you can close that up. And then I'm gonna turn it off to move because it's really bright, but you can adjust this so it's positioned exactly how you need it to be positioned for whatever project you're working on. And then you can also just store it flat and put it in your bag and it charges with a USB port. And so you can just put it in your go bag or by your chair in the living room and have it ready to go. Someone wants to know how much that light is. Um, Carrie is looking that up. <laughs> Upper... Oh, no, that's a different one. Probably on the one page you didn't slip. It was on page two, and she missed page two. Okay, so the Halo Go Lamp is regularly $130. It's on sale for $89. Oh, wonderful deal. So this is, this is a wonderful gift. Now, okay, let's talk our gifts. So my husband would appreciate this lamp. Anybody who's doing any type of hobby... And I don't know about you, but it gets dark in the Northwest and every day our eyes get worse, right? How rude. So um, my husband would appreciate that as a gift as well. Okay, last couple things I think that we have. This is the Superior Threads spread, uh, Spool Thread Holder. So it's a Superior Thread Holder. And how this works is it is a thread stand. So there is a piece that comes up here to hold your thread up above the cone, 
as you probably know, thread can misbehave. And it will misbehave whenever it wants when you want it to work out well, like, like metallic threads, they get tangly or whatnot. So what a thread stand does is it increases the distance from where the thread comes off of the spool or the cone, and it, it puts it up here. So when it goes to the machine, it has time to think about how it wants to behave, right? So it can be, be uh, polite. This piece, can you can have a spool or a cone this way, but it also comes with horizontal spool pins. So no matter what type of thread you're using or what type of winding was used to put it on the spool, this will help with that. And it's good for any brand of machine. And then the instructions on the back do show you very nicely where to put the spool pins, how they work, and everything like that. So what this will do for you is give you the ability to use pretty much any type of thread without the headache of having to fuss with the thread. Some thread just wants to be fussed with, right? So this will make that easy. Okay. And then this is a cute little thing. This is an iron rest. It doesn't look like much, but as you know, when you're pressing your seams open, you're doing ironing, if you don't put the, the iron up on its back end, it's going to burn, right? And the problem with that is if it's up here, it's not as easy or as quick to grab. So you can continue on. You get a lot of uh, wrist fatigue if you're doing a lot of pressing. You're having to take, pick it up and put it down and put it up. You actually can get a lot of wrist fatigue. So this is a silicone rest, so you can iron and set it right here, and you can leave it down and then just move it over so you're not having the wrist fatigue. I still would recommend when you're done with that pressing session and you're going to be back in 5, 10 minutes to put it up as it's intended, but this will give you a place that you can safely set, it, set the sole plate down on your flat surface without burning the surface, damaging the iron and things like that. Okay. All right, so that pretty much nutshelled everything that I think I just need to load all this into my car now and I'll just be happy, right? So all you need to do is load up your cart. So again, just go to quality sewing and vacuum and uh, go to the, click on the banner that says the holiday gifts and the stocking stuffers. And that will take you to the page that has all of this good stuff on it. I think there's like three pages, two or three pages that you can scroll through and see everything. We will add up a, a wish list up on that page. And then also uh, you can choose to have this delivered to a store. So if you pick out a couple of things and you wanna pick it up in Puyallup or in Bellevue or in Bellingham, you can do that and we'll just send it right up there for you. But if you order $100 or more, you get free shipping to wherever you might want it to go. So in the, 48 in the continental US. So yes, if you live in um, outside the country, or outside the continental US, um, there might be a little bit different of a, a, of a little charge there, but we will happily ship it there anyway. It just might have a little bit of fee with it. So, um, but uh, if you live in, especially in our area or within the, the, uh, the states here, we will get it to you free at $100. So, all right, so make sure you like, comment, and share so you can be put in the drawing for our door prizes. And we will draw those on Monday and we will let you know. So thank you for joining us. And I hope you have a very happy holiday season. Check out our other videos coming soon. They're not up yet. So you're getting a sneak peek because you're here right now. We have a fun thing with holiday masks. Uh-huh, uh-huh. We also have a project video coming soon on making a Santa uh, purse, Santa hat purse. So uh, we have lots of fun things in store for you. We also have great classes coming up after the first of the year. So if, for example, if you love Sally Tomato, we are going to have more Sally Tomato classes. And there's one scheduled for the end of January. It's not quite on the website yet. All the details are just getting ironed out. So we will have that up there and it's going to have a kit too. So there's lots of things. We also have Judy Kessinger coming who is doing some garment classes. It's a series of six garment classes. Now that's a good uh, present too, Rob. If you, um, and those of you who don't know who Rob is, he asked uh, what he could buy because 
Roxy already had everything, he said. So, um, but uh, Judy Kessinger is doing a series of six garment classes uh, the first quarter of the year. And if you buy all six, you actually get a discount. So it's like getting one something for free. So um, we look forward to seeing you uh, this holiday season in our store. Stop by to say hi. On Thursday, you're going to get to take part in our first ever virtual So Fun open house. So, oh, it's going to be lots of fun. We have some really neat uh, things that the stores have all uh, created to share with you. So I think you're going to have a good time on Thursday. So look for that and have a happy holiday season. Come in and say hello at one of our stores. Uh, post pictures to our, our Facebook uh, page. We'd love to see what you've been working on. And as far as that, I'd like to say just happy holidays and I look forward to seeing you soon.